As you all know, we throw in words like crackberry to describe how dependent we are on high-tech devices. But now there's a study that finds that internet addiction may actually damage the brain the same as too much alcohol or drugs do. Physician and best-selling author Dr. Deepak Chopra has been looking into this, and he joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. You know of my interest in the brain. Yes, of course. Um, explain the connection between the brain and an addiction to your BlackBerry or to the internet. Well, actually, any addictive behavior, and addictive behavior means that you're compulsively repeating that behavior at the cost of everything else in your life. You can't sleep, you miss out on relationships, social interactions, health, well-being. Any addictive behavior will cause the same damage in the brain at the site of receptors mm. that a drug will do. So the study is very valid. And once there's damage, then that perpetuates the behavior. It becomes a vicious mm. cycle. The behavior damages the brain. The brain then reinforces the behavior. And soon, it spins out of control. And the exciting thing is now, with imaging, you can see it you happen see it. in the brain. You can see it. And that's what all these mm. studies are about. Yeah. But how do you know when you have a problem? Because I'm, I'm never far from my BlackBerry, and if I'm Then you far, have a problem. problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's no. how you define it. Right? No, I could get by with it, you guys, but I do find... Oh, it, sure. Sure, I really sure, could, Charlie. Yeah. I check before I leave the house. I check again when I get in the car. But I'm still thinking that I don't really have a problem, per se. So how do you know when you That's cross that territory? That's part of the denial, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Gail. I have a problem. No, problem. Yeah. no but I think I there think, are a lot of people like me. Is it interfering with your personal relationships, no. social interactions, sleep, yeah. no. diet, yeah. exercise, all the things that make for a full life, you know, and when people start to focus only on one thing yeah. at the cost of everything else, then there is a problem. Which it's hard for some people to find that line in mm -hmm. today's society because we are so dependent on technology in so many you can different ways. You schedule the technology. You see, technology by itself is neutral. We can use the internet to actually rewire the planetary brain if we want mm -hmm. because our social networks are extensions of our brain and mm -hmm. it's happening Can the arab spring and wall street mm -hmm. occupy wall street these are all symptoms of that mm -hmm. but we if we know that we are in control and not it in control, yeah. then the same technology becomes healing. You know, I think I'm okay. I think about the young kids coming up today. Five-year-olds have, have uh, these mm -hmm. iPads now. In some schools, they don't even teach cursive writing That's anymore. Yeah. Should we worry about them becoming addicted? Addicted. Technology is not stoppable. That's the problem. Yeah, so that's as, it, as it proceeds, I think Darwinian principles will take over. Those that adapt will survive, and those that don't adapt will get sick. So if you have an addiction to the Internet and then you pull back, you can actually see in the brain how it changes, the Absolutely. plasticity of the Absolutely. brain changes. Absolutely. And what you can also see is that if you practice mindfulness awareness, and there's mm -hmm. lots of studies on this, that you rewire the brain in a completely different direction. So you can actually, through mindfulness techniques, which are basically observing yourself, mm -hmm. your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, you can see neural networks fire in a different direction. So there's hope. And with the new technologies of biofeedback, neural biofeedback, which may be the most successful way mm -hmm. of healing this addiction is technology itself. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Because you talk about that the way that you can actually cure this. And yes. the way that you're speaking about it, it's more, of, it's more of a cure and a rewiring as opposed to trading, say if you're a drug addict, training that addiction for a yoga addiction, which people have been known yeah. to do. Yeah, I mean, people are addicted yeah. to yoga, to exercise, to sex, you name it. We are an addicted civilization. Great to have you here mm -hmm. to talk to us about it. Dr. Thank Deepak you. Chopra, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.